Welcome to this edition of Just a Bit Outside. Today we're going to talk about what was one of my greatest victories. I just thought I had to tell this story. It's about a kid named Billy. Now let me give you a little bit backstory to this. What happened was back in the 1990s, I was in college and I wound up selling books door to door for four summers. Educational books, there were study guides. And what happened was they sent me out to Utah for my first summer. Now, when I'm doing this, one of the things I still remember from sales school it was a guy named Dan Moore. He ended up becoming the president of the company. He said something that I never forgot. He said, you know, a lot of times when you're out there in the field, you're gonna sit down with somebody and you're gonna find this kid that's really down and out in life. And that's the point where you have to just put the books down and tell this kid, look, everything's gonna be okay. And you know, you can do it. Give them some encouragement. So I never forgot that. So what happens was they send me out to Utah for the summer and I'm working in this town near Provo called Spanish Fork. So while I'm in Spanish Fork, I knock on this door. And what happened was I knock on the door and I tell the mother what I'm doing and she goes, you're selling educational books. And I'm like, yes. And I said, they're basically study guides. And uh, so she finds this really interesting. So she opens the door for me to come in and there's like a look of desperation in her face. I can tell like something's going on here. So she basically explains to me that her kid's going into sixth grade, he's failing everything. So she's frustrated. It's obvious she's at her wits end. She doesn't know how to help him. So while I'm talking to her, this kid comes into the room and he's a smart aleck. This kid is definitely a smart aleck and a half. So he makes all these little comments like, oh, if I had known you were the door, I would have slammed it in your face. Said all these little comments over and over. And I just sit there and I listen to this kid and I just like let it slide off my back. So after a couple of times of him saying comments like that, I looked at this kid, his name was Billy. And I said, you know, you're a really smart kid, Billy. So he kind of like, what? Yeah, whatever. So I'm like, no, no, no. I said, you're really a smart kid. And he goes, oh, trying to make me feel good. And you know, it helped that I had a church praying for me. It helped that, you know, I was looking for chances to help people with this job. So I, I was like, I read his mail. It was really weird, but it was like, I read his mail. So I look at this kid and I said, no. I said, let me tell you what's going on in your life, Billy. I said, what's happening is, is that you're in school and the teacher's up there at the, up at the blackboard and she's teaching something. And you're listening to this and you have a problem. So you want to ask a question. Well, the problem though is that the, kid, the teacher doesn't think you're going to be serious. So she doesn't want to answer any questions you have. So you want to go to your friends, but your friends are too cool to be able to give you an answer. So now you come home and you want to talk to your mom and ask her the question. But the problem though, is that the, your mother doesn't know how to help you. So in the end, you had a question that you wanted to answer and you can't get anybody to help you because nobody will take you serious and nobody wants to really do anything except for your mom who can't. So you're stuck and you're frustrated and all you want to do is have a question answered. And I looked him straight in the eyes when I said this and I asked him, am I right? By the time I said that, I looked at this kid, Billy, and he's like, yeah, but his eyes are much bigger. And so I said, look, I said, you've got me here to help you. And I said, I want to help you. So just tell me what is it you're struggling with in school and maybe we could find a way to help you at least a little bit. So the kid goes, well, I'm, I'm struggling with math. Well, I expected that. That's the, all, all the kids told me that. So I said, all right, what kind of math? And he tells me fractions. Expected that one also. So I pull out this book and I start teaching him from fractions. Now, while I'm talking about this, I'm looking out of the corner of my, my eyes at this mother and her jaws on the floor. Her kid is actually listening to me. And the kid's eyes actually lit up while I'm teaching him about fractions, which it's rare I see anybody get excited about math, but hey, that's okay. So in the end, the mom, takes out an order for everything in my bag. She just was completely stunned. So 
I felt like I had a victory because I made a difference in the kid's life. I didn't care about the money. I really didn't. The only thing I cared about was I got to help some kid that I had never met before. Now, the victory for me out of the four summers I did this, this was one of the greatest ones, was when I left the house, the mother comes up to me and she whispers in my ear, I have taken this kid to so many psychologists and so many psychiatrists, and you are the first person that's ever gotten through to him. And here I was, a college student at Regent University, and my major was script and screenwriting, had nothing to do with this, any, any of this other stuff. But the bottom line was, I just cared about the kid. I wanted to make a difference. And so I just want to encourage you, when you go through life, if you meet somebody like this, listen to the people that you're talking to and try to do something to help them. You know, it's those little things that make a difference. My hope is that Billy's life since then has turned out great. I honestly don't know. I really don't. But at least I made a difference one day. And uh, ironically, by the way, at the end of the summer, uh, the mother didn't have a lot of money to put down at the time. so. She told me she was gonna pay it when I came in, which, you know, okay, no problem. Well, what happened was at the end of the summer, they had been forced to move to a different place. She didn't have a dime. <laughs> That's okay. I made a difference in some kid's life for at least one day. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the story. I hope it encouraged you. Uh, please like and share the video, subscribe to the channel. Also, Ring the bell if you want future notifications. And if you get the chance, also take a look at my other channel, Footprints in American History. I teach lesser known American history. And I hope you guys have a great day in the meantime. Thanks so much. Just a bit outside.